Hello! In this video I want to tell you about people who organize themselves to serve local community of North Carolina to help people uh, grab them from the lowest pit in which they found themselves. Deborah, uh, she runs an organization called Hope Connection International. It's a non-profit organization that is uh, providing the support emotional and financial to people who are fighting addiction and abuse and she creates a community to be there for them for a long time and it's a community that I, I saw people that they are bonded and that are supporting each other she runs a thrift store 100% of proceeds go uh, to, to people in need and also a Ukrainian from Donetsk region uh, she now uh, runs an art studio there and she provides art classes for these people also uh, sharing the, her talent with them and also Ukrainian uh, refugees that are coming also visit her studio and Ukrainian community greatly benef benefits from Diane or Madeline uh, and so this video is about how they work together and and how they serve and help people in need in North Carolina Here we are, we locked down in different cities And our virtual connection falls apart Now the memories of us is all I have See so one day I'm gonna reach ya Take a plane for many miles Debbie, uh, she will tell us about Hope Connection And Diana who is part of it, being Ukrainian and serving the community here in North Carolina. Can you tell me about yes. your project? Um, Hope Connection International is a nonprofit, and we help survivors of abuse and addiction. So we help them with transitioning. Uh, we don't have a shelter, but we help them with the steps after that, um, like uh, temporary housing or getting housing, transportation, careers, daycare assistance, car repairs. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a full pantry for our sponsored families that when they come to our free support groups and classes in our community care center, which is upstairs, mm -hmm. um, they can come to the pantry and then get cosmetic items, feminine products, diapers, mm -hmm. whatever they need, because um, that really helps them with mm -hmm. budgeting and, you know, starting over. Um, so everything that we do here in Deja Vu Thrift, all 100% of the profits support Hope Connection. So when you're shopping here, you're helping our cause and you're actually helping to pay someone's rent or mm -hmm. helping them get back on their feet. So that's the whole purpose of the store. We also have volunteers and employees in the store are all mm -hmm. people in our program. So it helps them kind of get job skills and have a place of healing mm -hmm. where they can start over and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of get back into society like they need to. And our virtual connection falls apart Now the memories of us is all I have See so one day I'm gonna reach ya Take a plane for many miles We pretend that time didn't pass us by When we're on the Holland Drive I know it won't be long Diana um, Medlin started Owl Art Studio and so she rents this space from us and this is helping her start a business and you can tell how you got your parents from the Ukraine and how. Yes, um, I'm working with Deborah, and she's a great um, person to work with. I've been, I've been here for six years and we've done so much Perfect for English. Uh, for uh, doing classes, bringing kids, especially sometimes uh, newcomers from Ukraine. And I'm happy to be here and enjoy the art together with them to create crafts and different things. And this helps me to support my parents because I brought them from Ukraine two years ago. And this has been a blessing and a fun time to work together and just um, help people who need us. Uh, where are you from? The uh, Donetsk region. Uh -huh. She rescued her parents right at the beginning of the war and brought them over. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, this has been part, this art studio helps to support her in doing that. So that's what we try to do is help 
these women, when they start over, start businesses, mm -hmm. find the right career that they want to do. We'll pay their fees mm -hmm. if, say, they want to be a realtor or they want to do this. You know, we pay the fees and help them reach that goal as long as they're progressing and um, being accountable with, mm -hmm. with what they're supposed to be doing. What is the size of your community that you're working with? Um, in the past few years, we've had over a thousand people go through our free support groups mm -hmm. and classes. Um, we've had over 150 people at this point that we've helped financially in some mm -hmm. way in our sponsored victim program. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's constantly growing. The last three months have just, it's grown enormously and the need mm -hmm. is, is much greater than we're able to afford. So we always need more funding. Mm -hmm. Our mm -hmm. biggest need right now is we have to relocate because a de development company bought this property. Mm -hmm. So we have to relocate our community care mm -hmm. center and our thrift store and the art studio. Mm -hmm. And um, the landlord we had gave us a really low rent mm -hmm. And now we can't find anything even close to that to mm -hmm. be able to afford to move. So the only option we found so far is in mm -hmm. Selma. So it looks like we'll be moving there maybe in March. Mm -hmm. But we have to raise about $50,000 for moving expenses to pay for the expenses. We have to shut the store down for a month mm -hmm. while we move. Mm -hmm. And then um, signage, you know, mm -hmm. getting all the new mm -hmm. Internet and Square systems set up, all mm -hmm. of that kind mm -hmm. of thing. So it would be about $50,000 to make the move. So that's what we're trying to raise right now mm -hmm. in the next mm -hmm. month. So that's our biggest need so that we don't have to shut the store down because then where would people like her go? Where would mm -hmm. everyone go mm -hmm. that works here? You know, um, um, yeah. And people who you serve yes. is far for them, right? Yes. It's about 30 minutes away from mm -hmm. your car. Mm -hmm. You will have to kind of establish a maybe new community, but still yes. you don't want to leave people that already you are working with now. A lot of people said they'll drive out there because they, they love it and they, mm -hmm. they love us and they come in on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it will just grow our mm -hmm. community and make it larger, but um, it's all in God's hands. Yes. And uh, how, I saw on Facebook you have many events coming. Um, well, we help with the Duke games. Duke um, games. Yeah, mm -hmm. we work the basketball games mm -hmm. and the football games. So if anybody wants to volunteer, they can mm -hmm. go on our website, click volunteer mm -hmm. and click on whichever one they mm -hmm. want to do and mm -hmm. sign up and that helps raise money for us mm -hmm. um, we also have a gala event which this year will be May 4th mm -hmm. and it will be here in Cary mm -hmm. and it's like a sit down really nice dinner and you get to hear stories mm -hmm. from some of the people we've mm -hmm. helped mm -hmm. which is really really inspiring mm -hmm. um, and then we have a golf tournament in mm -hmm. October mm -hmm. which is another fundraising event mm -hmm. um, and then we do the angel tree mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. at Christmas time mm -hmm. Black Friday to Christmas mm -hmm. and we raise money well we People come buy gifts, they get tags off the tree and buy gifts for mm -hmm. sponsored families, and they love that. Mm -hmm. And then we have a party, mm -hmm. you know. So, why are you doing this? Why nine, nine years now, yes? Yes. Nine. Um, I was a preacher's kid, uh -huh. and I had pretty much a beautiful childhood. Mm -hmm. And then um, I married someone who was a preacher, and I mm -hmm. thought I would have the same thing, and found out that just because people look good on the outside doesn't mean they are good. And he was very abusive. Mm -hmm and um, had some mental mm -hmm. health issues mm -hmm. and um, started really hurting me and the boys. Mm -hmm. So um, we finally had to escape from mm -hmm. that and get out. Mm -hmm. And when I did that, I was here in North Carolina kind of all by myself mm -hmm. because we had moved here for him to take a church. Mm -hmm. And so- How are you from? Uh, we were in Florida and Georgia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we kind of got stuck here and I, I just saw how hard it was to find resources that were free mm -hmm. and just that continual support. So what we do is come along kind of like a family mm -hmm. and we help people long term. Mm -hmm. And it's not just handing money out. It's being there emotionally for support mm -hmm. when they lose a job, when they have a breakup, mm -hmm. you know, we they can stop by here. They'll hang out. They volunteer, mm -hmm. you know, and they can just come talk mm -hmm. with us so that they don't relapse or you know, go back to an abuser or something mm -hmm. like that. So we just have this healing environment to where it's a safe place for mm -hmm. people to come and mm -hmm. heal and grow and, and you know, be, have a brighter future. I think, uh, I feel like in Ukraine, uh, I don't know, well, at least in my community, uh, like knowing that it's something long term, that it's not like flaky in a few months, that's very important mm -hmm. for stability, for so many things in life. Yes. And that's, that's mainly why I started Hope Connection is most of the places I went to get help, they would help you maybe once or twice and that mm -hmm. was it. 
and it's just not enough when you're in that kind of situation where maybe you've lost your credit you had to leave everything you have no furniture you have no home mm -hmm. you have no car sometimes um, you don't have anybody to watch your kids so you can work I mean mm -hmm. it's all of these pieces you have to put together by yourself it takes mm -hmm. usually with a woman with children it might take two years at least mm -hmm. to get her back on a really good path with a mm -hmm. job and good daycare and schools and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know get them back on track mm -hmm. where they need to be mm -hmm. and then then the free support groups that we have and we also refer to professional counseling mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. help them get the confidence so they don't go back and repeat the same mm -hmm cycle again yeah, yeah. because mm -hmm. otherwise they'll just get someone else you know they're vulnerable mm -hmm. and somebody else will come and target them and they'll be back in the mm -hmm. same situation mm -hmm. so that's what we really try to do is help them grow and give them confidence mm -hmm. so that they can have a mm -hmm. independent healthy life uh, and also can you tell me more are you you like to paint yes are you a painter yes uh, uh -huh. I'm an artist I love to do this and this is my passion and this is my place right now, so this I don't want to lose this, so I want to continue yeah. work with Deborah and continue help others. How many people do usually come here to paint? On Saturdays it varies. It can be two to, I don't know, six, eight or more. If we have a birthday party or mm -hmm. some parties, we have more people. Mm -hmm. But otherwise I have different classes on Saturdays and um, open studio on, the week on weekdays. Mm -hmm. so and then sometimes she'll have a big group come in uh, a couple oh, times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's had as many as 20, 25, yes. 30, as many as we can fit in here comfortably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in the new space, we'll have more room. She'll be able to have, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a lot more going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and she does sewing and crocheting and all of that kind of stuff. So the possibilities are endless mm -hmm. of what mm -hmm. she can offer to the community, which is so cool because a lot of people just need you know, I've had teenagers who struggle with depression when I was a teacher, mm -hmm. and something that helped them was to like crochet while mm -hmm. they were sitting in the classroom, mm -hmm. and I let them do that. They'd have a bag by their feet, mm -hmm. and they would just sit there and crochet, but it gave them something to do with their hands, and kind mm -hmm. of, it was good therapy. So, you know, just finding those niches for people and mm -hmm. things that help them feel better. Mm -hmm. So right now we're just praying and trying to raise the 50000 so that we can move, mm -hmm. um, and we'll find out this week if it's going to mm -hmm. be a go, and if it's looking pretty promising right mm -hmm. now so and link to the website of this store will be in the description of this video awesome thank you thank Both you so much you so much for inviting me here yes we appreciate it thank you thank you for watching this video please like it and subscribe to the channel and feel free to donate to Hope Connection International.